Hi everyone, in this video we'll look at herbal infusions or teasans. In the West, everyone always thinks anything brewed in hot water is tea. But that's like saying anything brewed in hot water is coffee. But that's not true because the coffee comes from the coffee bean and tea comes from the Camellia sinensis species. It's a different plant. So when it comes to herbal infusions, it can originate from any other plant. And that can be flowers like rose, hibiscus, chrysanthemum that I have display here, or it can come from leaves. Uh, leaves would be peppermint, that's our very popular blend of peppermint and lavender. And of course, uh, something very unique would be the wild guava leaves that come from the high mountains in Taiwan. So that naturally tastes a little minty as well. But herbal teas can also come from actual roots. So it can come from ginger. Here I have display um, the ginseng root, which has a very long history, similar to tea. Uh, and then of course, uh, fruits it can come from jujube or hongzao dates uh, and goji berries. So when you have these uh, herbal teas, we would use hot water to make an infusion and we would categorize as more of a teasan or herbal infusion. You can uh, make it hot. For me, I prefer to uh, use the glass vessel or for convenience, we also have tea bags. So these are tea bags that we would use for some of the finer leaves like mint. Uh, if you have uh, mint or some of our ginger lemongrass in bulk, it's very easy to take a bag like this, pour some in here. So I'm using about a tablespoon here and then take the tea bag, pull it forward and turn them around to seal it, similar to an old school sandwich bag. And then we'll place it into a glass infuser like this. Uh, for this, I would still use the insert because with the insert, it makes it easier to remove for me to use another pot. Um, now, why do, why do you wanna make your own tea bags when you can get mint in bags? Well, the flavor is a little different. In this case, I can control how much I'm using. Um, I can also make blends. Like oftentimes there's a eight treasure tea that's very popular in China. And if you've gone to China to visit uh, Beijing or Shanghai, oftentimes they'll take different flowers uh, and fruits, mix it together, add some sugar in it and call it eight treasure tea. So you can make your own blend as well. But in this case, it's pretty easy. I could now add hot water in. Uh, this mint is really fresh, so I can smell it already. It's so nice with a pinch of lavender. So when I'm not feeling 100%, I really like to make um, mint tea to settle my stomach. Uh, herbal teas have their own benefits, and uh, I'm sure you can look online to check the benefits of each. But when it comes to herbal teas, we drink it because usually when you're um, not feeling very well or if you prefer not to have any caffeine or theanine in the tea. Um, so I've also made some of the hibiscus flowers. I put them in the same bag, this style, and brewed it in cold water. Uh, on a warm day like this, you can just uh, pre-make a pitcher of something like this and add it to a glass of ice. And we've also made um, ice cream or popsicles with the leftover tea. So in this case, uh, I have my finger limes again, which is in season. And then I would just squeeze some and put it into the iced tea. And it's really nice and refreshing. Uh, you can sweeten it if you like, but I really prefer to have that really tart taste. Um, and then when it comes to mint tea, it's much fresher and stronger than the actual tea bag, and it's much more enjoyable. So if you wanna read a little more about our different um, teasans or herbal infusions, please visit our website, redblossomtea.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.